Now you got to talk about the Lions being the Super Bowl favorites. No, that's you. This no, is this is segment. you. RP, not KW. You this is talk- you. Well, this own- is me. The Lions are me, but you got to talk about the Lions. You think that they play in a J- uh, the JV conference. No, it's it's is- the only reason that uh, – what was it, uh, 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 Rob G., you, you bring in uh, – they had a – what a uh, – they had uh, some GMs or whatever. You no, so the athletic, their their crack staff there of NFL okay. reporters. They got a million of them. They pulled forty six before the season and now recently at the midway point on all the awards, MVP, Rookie of the Year, so on and so forth. They had to pick which team was most likely to make the Super Bowl from each conference. No surprise in the AFC, it was the Chiefs. All right, they got twenty nine of the forty six votes. However, in the NFC. Dub and Rob Parker's Detroit Lions. Not mine. We Stop knew. it. Oh, got we 40 knew. of 46 first place votes. And as a result, when they had to guess who they think would actually win the Super Bowl, 20 out of 37 who were able to reply to that one all picked the Detroit Lions. It's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Uh, I'm actually shocked that the initial they, they talked about initially they didn't have that many picks and I think it was because people were thinking of the 49ers which would you know I understand that they had a great game in the NFC Championship last year and I get it they beat the Lions so but the man the, the, the 49ers have always the last 10 years they've been injury prone I was telling Rob G even back to like Patrick Willis always injured like their Debo Samuel's always out Christian McCaffrey's always hurt someone's always hurt Jimmy Garoppolo at times when he was there. So there's somebody always hurt with the 49ers. But I, I, the Lions, man, they just I think they've just been such a complete team that I see why people say that. And, and it's because they've been able to run the ball so well. Their defense has bent but not broken. Uh, and, of course, they, the offense is the trick plays, the way Ben Johnson has them in their bag. They're just fun to watch. Uh, and they're, and they're, they're stepping on everybody's throats. They're beating teams down. They're not playing around. They're not playing with their food, playing with the little dead animal. They're – Coming in, smacking you up quickly, and getting the job done fast. So I see why people are, are saying that, that they, uh, you know, they they represent the Super Bowl, and ultimately they're saying they'll beat the uh, the Chiefs, which is exactly my you know preseason pick of Lions Chiefs Lions win. Uh, I don't think so. I just think it is a they're picking the Lions by default. It's the weakest of the two conferences. Uh, the Forty ers are banged up. They look at the other teams. Who who are the quarterbacks in the NFC? All the quarterbacks, Don't do Murray like that. all the quarterbacks are in the AFC, so they're just looking at it strictly Sam as Darnold is by, upset. by default. Sam Darnold, who has been on four teams in the last four years, all of a sudden, he, so he's the guy in the way. So you don't believe he's in the way. Who else in the NFC is in the way? The Cowboys. The Cowboys are bad. Um, the the the, the uh, Eagles haven't been good in a couple of years now, right? Even though they got off to a great start last year, nobody looks at them as a real threat. Cowboys stink. They, who's there? Oh, uh, you, you're worried about Seattle. You're not worried about. There's nobody in the there's, NFC. I agree. I that, mean, so it's the, by it's by default that you pick the Lions. But and, I think, but it could be Baker Mayfield out of nowhere. That beats the Lions. Last year they had a tough I mean, playoff this, game. Yeah, he beat them And they this beat them this year. Just go back to that. Always remember that, that that could be the team because Todd Bowles, if, if one thing, their defense is pretty good. And, and Baker's playing well. And, they, they're not losing because of Baker. He's playing really, really well. Yeah, Baker Mayfield it might be the anecdote or might be the guy that could beat the Lions, but my point is there's just nobody else. Even when you look at the Packers and what they did last year, we talked about it. You know, everybody beats the Cowboys. Last year, going off of that, you would go like, "My God!" I mean, the, I don't want to play the Packers in. They're still up the there, playoff. though. Uh, that'd be I, tough. They, uh, that, but I, that'd be but tough. I, I don't, I don't think that they're what they were last year. How people thought about them after that playoff game. Well, Jordan Love that being was so, up that too. was so unexpected. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. To go to Dallas and beat them at that level. That was nothing that you could have – they could maybe win, squeak out a win in Dallas, whatever. Yeah. I could buy into that. They get a late turnover. Something happens. But to go down there and thrash the Cowboys, who had won 16 straight home games mm-hmm. going into that game, the way they beat them. Now, this is – we didn't know that the next three teams that came in were going to beat them down like that as well. Right. So, so we had none of that to be able to gauge it. At that point, you thought the Packers had turned a corner. Yeah, I think uh... – 
Although I agree that the NFC is clearly not the best conference right this you know this year right around now the last few years, I still think the fact that they picked the Lions to beat the Chiefs still says a lot about the Lions. They could have no, said that I they got at, there, the, but look at the Chiefs even with their record, and this is what we talk about all the time. We talked about that Steelers team, Rob G. Ward, a nine and zero or ten and zero. We call them the worst nine and zero team mm. in NFL history, and even people who are in on the Chiefs and whatnot. That eight and no is not that impressive. Like they they look at it, win it, you win. That's the goal of the, mm-hmm. of it, right? I would say sports has a short menu, wins and losses. But when you look at them, there's some holes there. There's some things you go, is this really a Super Bowl winning team? Like we're not sure. Like we're not confident. Yeah, they can be beat, even though they haven't been beat. I think most people believe the Chiefs can be beat. They do. Uh, I think they're vulnerable. I mean, there's a handful of teams. Like, listen, if they go for some reason, if the Bengals get in the postseason, right, look nobody's going to want to play the Bengals. Because Cause, cause you're going to have to be able to score po- You're going to have to score because they, they they realize their defense isn't great. It's cost them probably three or four games this year. And Joe Burrow's probably like, dude, I'm going to have to throw four to six touchdowns a game to win this thing. So that I absolutely believe that the Bengals will be a problem. For the Chiefs, but the Chiefs would ultimately win because of their defense. But I'm saying you wouldn't want to play them. You'd be like, oh, shoot. Uh, Josh Allen would have something to say, though. Some of these teams are saying, hey, don't forget about us in the AFC. Uh, and also, again, Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. So those are kind of the few teams you would look at in the AFC and say would be problematic. But, again, I go back to with this Lions team, what I'm seeing from them. And they're, they're, to me, what makes them so compelling, again, is the way they're beating everybody and not allowing teams to get back in. They're not having close games. They're not letting the Bengals come back and almost win if you're the Ravens or losing to the Raiders or losing to the Browns or having the Cowboys come back. They're not the Chiefs with all these close games where Patrick Mahomes has to make a play at the end to win it regularly or the defense saves the day. The Lions are coming in to whomever. You're a good team, you're a bad team, you're a horrible team, and we're doing exactly what we came to do. Take care of business, bust you in the mouth, and go home. And I think that's, to me, what's compelling about them is they're doing that night in, night out, week in, week out. And uh, that's why, again, I think some of these these scouts or whomever they were are saying the Lions will beat the Chiefs, I think which the will Lions- be good, which will be a fun. I mean, Lions, Chiefs, or Lions, uh, Ravens will absolutely be awesome. If they That'll don't be get there, man, season. it's going to be ugly. I'll, I'll say that. They, they the Lions? Yeah, if they don't get to the Super Bowl. I don't. I don't. I don't agree with ugly. I think oh, it'd be I, upsetting. But I, I don't do think like, it'd be ugly. I, I think from the standpoint that everybody, they're overwhelming favorites. They've mm-hmm. been rolling to start the season, but playing bad teams, beating them up like they should. I'm not knocking them for yeah. that. You can't start out seven. Oh, it's the best start or whatever, and then peter out at the end. Like well, that's I think where it's context, that's where though, people like, will be. How did they lose? Did they look horrible? Did they lose to maybe uh, the worst team in the postseason? But if they go up against, you know, let's say uh, the Packers. In an epic NFC Championship game, and yeah, they just pro- happen to lose. I mean, to me, it's a very it's disappointing because you thought you'd well, get to the I Super would, Bowl, but I, they're I, on a roll. Like they've built something where for the next four to five years, you know, you expect them to be contending. Yeah, but I do think if you let the Packers in the division, you'll be like, wait a minute, they came out of nowhere. We have been already established. We got a quarterback that's already been to a Super Bowl, and Jordan Love has already beaten you and, and took over the division. Jordan Love is thirty seven years old. No, you know he's been I'm sitting saying. on the bench for ten years. Jordan, Lo- I, Jordan I, Love is Jordan Love is a seasoned vet, even though he's only played a year. Now and the half. Lions are one. If the Lions do not get there, it's going to be disappointing. That's I, 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 think, I agree I, with I, disappointing, I, but I don't think. I just think. Listen, you covered the Lions for for twenty for years. Twenty years. I, I went to all the games, and I think that for them to even be regularly expected to yeah, be but in the postseason, at, but at some point you got to get over that. You do because they because they they did go to the. They did go to the playoffs was it before. Jim Caldwell, like, Jim a couple Caldwell, times. Yeah. yeah, I mean, let's not make it like they they've never been to playoffs. Like, I think that's the part that that kills me about Lions fans is like they. I remember when getting to the playoffs and losing that. Oh, uh, that ain't good enough. You remember that uh, Bob Quinn when he was the general mm-hmm. manager and they fired Jim Caldwell and brought I don't in know what that was all. Yeah, about. like Jim Caldwell made a playoffs two out of the last three years for Matt Patricia. If you fired and they him because said it wasn't good Tony enough. Dungy was called, okay, right. fired or something. Matt Patricia using a pencil on a laminated call sheet? Make it make sense, Rob G. 
That man had a laminated call sheet with a number two pencil in his ear I trying to look the part. I thought that was a Denny's menu. I, I, I don't know what I'm that like, was. I'm like, come on, Matt Patricia. What are you doing out here? Y'all let Jim Caldwell finally brought some stability. They were uh, one of the you know least penalized. You know, the Lions have been horribly disciplined. Like, finally, I'm like, y'all let him go. That's why I, f- I was mad at the Lions for like four or five years. No, and I'm like, so man, I, I, y'all, I, y'all have made me highly upset right it, now. You can you can fire Jim Caldwell, but it got it can't be Matt Patricia. It can't be Matt Patricia. That's what I'm saying. Like like really, remember he was 14 and two with the, with the uh, Colts. Yeah, right. It, they and I thought he made a mistake there. They had a chance to go undefeated. Remember he sat everybody. Yeah, that was weird. Losing I didn't like the that. No, we I, see, I thought that was you a mistake. Keep hot, man. I know it ain't baseball where you really want to stay. Are hot. you guys gonna say with a straight face right, that yeah. hiring a coach? Who has a pencil and a laminated play sheet was a bad idea. Big time. That man. You know it's impossible to write on a laminated play sheet with a pencil. That's what we're saying. Why? What was this man doing? It was all an act. You know, <laughs> He's like trying to look guys, smart right. like I'm taking notes. No, fool, you got a number two pencil <laughs> with a laminated sheet holding an iPad. What we doing? What we doing? You ain't heard from Matt Patricia since. Matt Patricia for Jim Carwell. I was boring, yes. He was stoic, yes. Were they the most exciting team? No. It just didn't make but, sense. Man, it he just didn't make sense. Right. to a, a but franchise that was, that that was Bob any. Quinn. You know, Bob Quinn bringing in his buddy. Yeah. It was bad. Mad about that. No uh, doubt.